The psychrometric chart is one of the most frequently used tools for HVAC or building services engineer. There are several online or mobile apps available already, including the official app from uh, Archery and Sci Online from Fly Carpet. The Unseam psychrometric calculator offers another alternative, with limited functions but can be quite convenient for certain calculations. If you are on a wider screen, you see three columns. The left and the right hand sides are air conditions. You can change any of the editable fields to get the condition you want. For example, 30 degrees centigrade with 50% relative humidity. You will see the rest of the properties being updated accordingly. It works the same way for the right hand column. The middle column is for calculations. The first tab shows the difference between the two conditions. Watch the center column and see how the numbers change when I modify the reference condition. The difference in relative humidity is now shown as uh, it has little meaning unless the dry bulb temperature are the same on both sides. The second calculation is the resultant condition when you mix two air streams. You can specify the ratio of airflow here. They do not have to add, add up to 1 or 100%. A 1 to 3 mixing will work just fine. The third calculation is processing airstream from condition A to B. Here you need to give a flow rate in either mass or volume form. The results are the amount of moisture you need to add or remove, and the heating and cooling power required. By playing with the flow rate, you can calculate the required ventilation for meeting the heating and cooling load. For example, if your room temperature is uh, 23 degrees C and uh, the supply air temperature is 12 degrees C, and you know that the cooling load is 2 kilowatt, the required ventilation rate will be about 150 liter per second. The last useful feature to mention is that you can save some data points to a list for later use. With the list, you can follow rather complex air conditioning processes as you do using a psychrometric chart. I will save the examples for a longer video if requested. The biggest limitation of this app is that it does not support IP units at the moment. If you think this will be useful or have any suggestions or issues, please do let me know using the comments below. So thanks for watching and see you next time.